Hi everyone! My kids have been bugging me to get a VR headset for years. But all the top brands have age guidelines stating that these devices are not for kids. I thought I was making a reasonable decision here, but evidently, a ton of my kids' friends do have VR headsets, and I'm the lame mom. So I thought I'd do a bit more research to see if my decision still holds. I'm going to go through the main reasons people say kids shouldn't use VR and see what the actual scientific research says. And since I'm going through the trouble of doing the research, I'll save you the trouble and share what I find. So here we have the top five reasons people say kids shouldn't use VR headsets and the actual facts that either support or disprove these reasons. Before I start, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So the main reason I always thought VR was bad for kids was that it would damage their eyes. The headsets are sized around adult heads and eyes. Plus, kids' eyes are still developing. So I thought if your kid uses a virtual reality headset, their eyesight would be ruined forever. Well, I was really surprised to see the actual data here. The American Academy of Ophthalmology says, Although there are no long-term studies, ophthalmologists agree there is no reason to be concerned that VR headsets will damage eye development, health, or function. Age limitations for VR technology might make sense for content, but as far as we know, this technology poses no threat to the eyes. Further, in a scientific study of almost 2,000 kids, they found that kids' eyes are already getting negatively affected by lots of other activities that are close to their eyes, like reading or watching TV. So it seems like maybe the risk here has been really overstated. It sounds like my kids' eyes will already be wrecked by watching their tablets or reading Harry Potter or studying for a test, and VR won't make it any worse. So this one's a point in favor of letting the kids play VR. The next reason for keeping kids away from virtual reality is the risk of physical injury. We've all seen the videos, and as funny as it is to watch people walk into door frames or trip over furniture, you can get really hurt when you're playing around in a room without being able to see. This fear does seem to be based in reality. Aviva Insurance has seen a 31% increase in insurance claims from VR accidents. The counter argument here is to just closely watch your kids while they're playing. But that just seems impractical to me. I'm not so much of a helicopter parent that I could literally catch my kid if he ran into something. One of the nice parts about gaming is that your kid can actually occupy themselves so you can get other things done around the house. Hovering over them every second just doesn't work for me. Also, you should consider that there's a risk of physical injury even if your kid doesn't actually crash into things. In a study done at Oregon State University, they found a high incidence of overuse injuries from VR headsets, like rotator cuff injuries and neck strain. Now, when I first read all that, it sounded really bad. But aren't we trying to get our kids into more physical activity? And any sort of physical activity has a risk of injury. So to me, this is kind of a wash. Your kids are gonna do something physical and they might get hurt. VR is just one of those things. So to me, this is no points for or against VR. Third up on the list is how addictive virtual reality can be. I already have to pry my kid away from his computer to go see the sun every now and then. When you add VR, I can see things devolving into that Ready Player One world where people consider the headset world as their reality. So are these fears real or not? Let's see what the data says. Well, in a study conducted by the Communication University of China, they found that VR content is 44% more addictive than PC content. So this one looks like it might be real. If you do end up letting your kids play in virtual reality, I think time limits are really important so they don't get carried away. This one gets a point against letting the kids play VR. Up next is the fear of inappropriate content or inappropriate social interactions. Some parents argue that kids shouldn't use VR because they could be exposed to inappropriate content or ads 
or have otherwise inappropriate interactions with strangers in multiplayer situations. Now, I don't really need data to say that this one doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. There's inappropriate content on mobile games, on console games, and PC games. There are inappropriate chats on all these platforms as well. There's nothing about VR that makes this risk higher or lower. As with any type of game, you need to look at what your kids are playing, what parental controls are available, and what chat options you've configured. It's not that there's no risk here in VR, it's just that there's no greater risk. So to me, this gets a point in favor of letting your kids play, since this isn't really a serious concern in my opinion. We're down to the last of the top five reasons. I'll call this one the fear of the unknown. Virtual reality simply hasn't been around long enough to know the implications on anyone, let alone children. Plus, there hasn't really been much testing on the effects of VR on children because we tend to frown upon using kids as lab rats in testing. So really, we're just guessing. Then again, I feel like a lot of parenting in 2023 is just guessing, but maybe that's just me. But really, parents have to deal with a lot of stuff like this. Cell phones, social media, and now virtual reality. We simply haven't had these things long enough to know what the long-term effects are. So there's no real data I can use to prove or disprove this one because the issue here is the lack of data itself. As we look back in history, every new invention is met with a combination of excitement and trepidation. Years ago, people probably thought cars were incredibly dangerous. I remember having a lot of mixed feelings and confusion about the internet. Now, these are things we literally can't do without. So I don't know what the future holds for VR, but it still has me a bit worried. Is it just a fear of the unknown? Yeah, of course it is, but it's still a fear. So to me, the point against VR. So now comes the bad news. The result of my investigation was two points for VR and two points against. I learned a lot, but I am no closer to making a decision on this. So now it's you guys' turn to help. What do you think? Do you let your kids play in virtual reality? What was the reason behind your decision? I think like most decisions we make as parents, there's no right answer that fits all families. So whether you're for or against, I don't judge it either way. I'm just looking to collect the facts to see what the data says. And it looks like the data says it could go either way at this point. So that's all I have for today. I'm really interested in what you guys have to say on the topic. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see more reviews of what games, shows, and more are okay for your kids. See you next time.